Hello, Fully Loaded Wrestling fans. Welcome to All Hallows Eve. You might not know if you've heard of the Vegas Motel. My name is JD Bofors here in the commentary booth. Alongside me, Sylvester J. Fox. Sylvester, pleasure to have you here. It's a pleasure for you to have me, JD. And that's Sylvester J. Fox, a managerial extraordinary to you. Opening contest here, Rob James. Coming out after almost a year gone from Minot, North Dakota, 10 months out of fully loaded wrestling after that ACL injury, making his return here. Coming back and showing immediately the same Rob James we've known, insulting the fans, putting out the 6% challenge, answered by Rob Barnes from Sydney, Australia. His first appearance here is fully loaded and he is taking it to 6% body fat Rob James right off the bell here in this opening match. Rob Barnes, in case you, uh, you're not familiar, uh, the uh, first ever Reality of Wrestling champion, Reality of Wrestling down in Texas. You may know that as the promotion run by one Booker T, WWE Hall of Famer. Rob James, of course, on the outside here, uh, well known to fully loaded wrestling fans. Uh, as I said, he suffered a torn ACL at the hands of Wolf Danger here in Minot, North Dakota, just about one year ago. Made his return in Fargo, North Dakota at the No Escape event back in August, making his return to Minot after almost a year here tonight. He's got a mean streak to him now, JD, that he didn't necessarily have before. I mean, if you, you listen to his uh, promo you know, beforehand, he, he, he's definitely got a chip on his shoulder. I, I don't know if I would say that's necessarily new from Rob James. What I will say, Sly, what I will say is I think he's definitely gotten even darker, even even more mean, even more aggressive. So I do see what you're saying there. He's definitely amped that up. That that time on the shelf has definitely gotten to him. And he's uh, he's ready and, and back and, and just ready for some strong competition here. Ready to reestablish himself here in fully loaded wrestling. And he doesn't care who he insults, who he disrespects. He's just here to prove himself. He's here to win. Absolutely. Looks like he's back in the ring now. Spent some time on the outside. 20 count here in fully loaded wrestling when you're on the outside. So Rob James back into the ring. Test the strength now between Rob James and Rob Barnes. Yeah, he's obviously got a leverage advantage. I mean, that's 
He is a he is the taller athlete. You're not wrong. Maybe not for long. <laughs> there you go, Rob James. As if he as if he heard you from way over here. He uh, he says, "I'll show you leverage." But now Rob Barnes, of course, just steps out of the way, puts James on his face there in the mat. They're taking him over to the corner, charging in, but James sends Barnes up and over. Barnes blocking the punch, going a forearm to Rob James. James now clubbing away at Barnes' back. The referee needs to get out of the way. James missing that uh, that posterior attack. And Barnes with an incredible drop kick, springboarding off the second rope, going for the pinfall now. One, two. James kicks out. It is perhaps a little early in the in the match still for uh, for a pinfall. Rob, oh, Rob James isn't going down like that. Not in his return to Minot, North Dakota, where he tore his ACL about a year ago. I, you, yeah, I, yeah. I, I know, I know. You already told us. It's going to be a bit of a challenge here. But, uh, but Barnes, uh, clearly the, uh, the fans here, uh, getting behind Barnes, I would imagine uh, some of them familiar with his work in, in other promotions, some of them just getting behind him because he's taking it to Rob James right now. Or because he's hyping up the crowd. <laughs> He Whatever. certainly wants these fans to have a good time while he's uh, while he's in there competing. Well, you cannot blame fans him. Fans having a good time doesn't matriculate into wins. James now with his leg clearly across the throat of no. Barnes. The referee getting in there, telling him he's got to he's got to get that off. Five count, of course, to uh, to break that uh, that illegal hold, and James taking advantage of every bit of that five count he is allowed. James now head scissors and just bouncing. Barnes is forehead push -ups. Push -ups. off the uh, off the canvas here. Some certainly unique and creative offense from James. But uh, again, as, as we've said many times before, it uh, doesn't really matter how you get the job done. You know, whether you're a technical wizard or, a, or just a heavy brawler, whatever you uh, whatever your style is. Barnes now working his way back with some strikes to the gut. But Rob James goes right to the eyes and oh, I control. I Huge, heavy-handed slap from James. Chops, chops, let's call him JD. I mean, it sounds so brutal. Slaps. Now we've got uh, Barnes down in the corner. Rob James jawing to the fans a little bit here, showing off some of that muscle. Some, some of these fans uh, questioning James's claim of 6% body fat after his time on the shelf. But... Uh, he is, uh, he's certainly still a every bit the formidable competitor, whether he's necessarily at that particular number or not. Right now in full control of this match. These fans getting behind Barnes though, giving him that energy he needs to get his second win, feed it off it. Into the ropes now, but Rob James. Drop Big kick. drop kick puts Barnes on his back. Going for the pin now, one, two. <laughs> Not enough to take out Barnes yet. James now See, push up and choking Barnes while he does. He's doing push-ups, and that's how he obviously comes back and gets. If all he was doing was push-ups, why was the referee counting? What is? Now there, certainly not anything but some disrespect from Rob James, but still uh, unnecessary, uh, not sportsmanlike in any way. Barnes definitely struggling here against James in his first appearance for Fully Loaded Wrestling. Don't forget fans to check out Fully Loaded TV on YouTube or the Fight TV app. Barnes making a big comeback here, getting ahead of Steve with a drop kick. Now a running knee into the corner. Off the rope skin, ducks under a clothesline from James and answers with a clothesline of his own. Going for the pin now, one, two. No, Rob James able to kick out. Barnes now measuring James, getting his second win. Oh, but James, there's some experience on display for you. It's there it is. For the pin now, one, two. No, Rob Barnes still not done in this match. Rob James. Wait, Rob ja wait is Rob James suggesting he may have paid this referee? No, no, what he's suggesting is the referee didn't get down into position quick enough. I wonder if he's got an ACL injury too. Uh, I'm willing to bet the referees here at Fully Loaded Wrestling have been fully vetted 
and are, are very, very prepared for this job. Have you seen this guy? I mean, look at the size of this referee. Let's not disparage the officials here at Fully Loaded Wrestling. I just simply said I could see why he might have an issue getting into position. Rob Barnes now on the mat, and Rob James back in control. He's up on the second rope. It's booty time, he says. Oh, but he misses. Nobody home. Gave Rob Barnes just a little too much time, and now Barnes back on his feet. Throwing vicious forearm strikes to Rob James. Now just over and over and over. And a huge, maybe showing a little of that disrespect right back to Rob James, just paint brushing him across the face. And a huge oh. chop of bar from Ow. Barnes. Now he's been setting it up for a suplex. James blocking it though, and some punches to the stomach. Maybe, maybe needs to open that fist up a little bit. Oh, Barnes. Nice back body drop. Back body drop, putting Rob James down, and now, oh, Rob James slips behind, rolls it up, he's got the trunks, the referee oh, position oh, three, trunks. and that's a three. Look clean to me, JD. Rob James, his same old tricks, a handful of tights on the roll up. The referee, of course, in position to see the shoulders, does not see the handful of trunks. And Rob James defeats Rob Barnes in the 6% body fat challenge here in Barnes' debut appearance. All the way up to the Texas, falls to Rob James. Back in action. There he is. A win's a win. These fans certainly showing Rob James what they think of him here at the Vegas Motel in Minot. All right, Sylvester Fox and J.D. Provorst back again with another fully loaded wrestling match. All Hallows Eve, Minot, North Dakota at the Vegas Motel. Night one of the All Hallows Eve event. This contest, Kiefer Bartek from Austin, Texas, Booker T's Reality of Wrestling, and Dynamite Soul, Eric Walker. Eric Walker with some choice words for Keith Bartek's man bun. Man bun. And this match underway. Again, Dynamite Soul, Eric Walker, and Kiefer Bartek. Bartek up from Booker T's Reality of Wrestling in Texas. Eric Walker, of course, very familiar to the Fully Loaded Wrestling fans. Yeah, JD, I haven't seen this uh, Bartek look before, but he's got a good look to him, and he's got uh, an attitude that I like because he's coming off the ringside, so I can I can uh, well, look I, forward to what uh, we got in store for us here. I think I, I, I speak for many fully loaded wrestling fans when I say that if Sylvester Fox sees something in you, that's maybe signs that we should keep a close eye on you and your tactics and yeah. the attitude you present. We're suspicious of people you like is what I'm trying to say Absolutely, here. Absolutely, J.D., and as you know, I am uh, having open season for tryouts this weekend to build my stable. So uh, this Bartek kid, he might, uh, he might be the guy. I gotta keep an eye on him here. And Bartek let's see. on the outside here, calling for a timeout. There, of course, no timeouts in wrestling. Why this referee, however, is not counting, that I'm not sure of. Bartek back in the ring now, ducks under. Eric Roger with an arm drag, a Japanese arm drag. Back up in a big drop kick from Eric Walker, takes Bartek down. Time to regroup, Bartek, time to regroup, buddy. High energy from Dynamite Soul here. The fans at Fully Loaded Wrestling loving every bit of this. Into the corner, up, oh, up and over. Bartek throwing a strike, but blocked. Oh. He must have slipped off the edge of the apron over there, did he? He can't seem to get up off the ground either. I, I, uh, and it's a well, good thing the referee's checking on Bartek, so. Eric Walker being the tag, we don't, we uh, uh, unfortunately don't have any information on the, uh, the gentleman who came down to ringside with Peter Bartek, uh, but he's clearly serving his purpose. And, uh, What's that to drive him off when he? Oh, Tommy G now has come out. Tommy G is, uh, is, Looks like he's come in to balance the, the, the table here. 
a bit of an equalizer, I'd say. Absolutely. Back into the ring, however, Bartek in control. Quick shot to Dynamite Soul. Now, body slam puts him on the mat. Going for the pin now. One, two, not enough. Let's see here now, Bartek picking. Oh, a couple of strikes from Dynamite Soul. Loving blow to his back, however, from Bartek, and he is back down. Don't make him make me rethink the old uh, man bun comment. Yeah, it certainly seems to be working for Bartek right now. Oh, another punch to the face here. I didn't see anything. Bartek just stomping away at Dynamite Soul. Into the corner. Dynamite Soul, though, measuring him, catches him with an elbow. Tried to come in with a head of steam, but Bartek caught him. Big backbreaker. Now one, two. Dynamite Soul kicking out. He is not out of this contest. Bartek, however, now firmly in control. Referee down there checking to make sure that this is a legal. I think uh, he's checking to see if Dynamite Soul is out cold. Yeah, exactly. He is, he is starting to, uh, to count. That's one hand down. Of course, if the hand drops three times, this match is that over. The third one. Here we go. Ring the bell. No, Dynamite Soul is not out of it. He is not out of this match. Working his way back up to his feet now, a jawbreaker, creating some separation between himself and Bartek. Blocks the strike and a shot to the chest. Some more strikes here from Dino and a headbutt right to the sternum. That will take the breath out of you. And as, as of course, we may be fond of hearing Chris Rose can't breathe, can't rest, but now Bartek's command bug gone. Yeah, I wonder how that happened. Dynamite Soul firing up here. Big clubbing blows to Bartek. He's got him wrapped up. Oh, and a kick to the abdomen, taking him down. Going for the pin now. One, two. That is just a two count. These fans fully behind Dynamite Soul Eric Walker. What's he got in mind? Big knee strike coming up here. Measuring Bartek. Oh, this the, maybe looking for the black note here. That is the, uh, the finishing maneuver of Dynamite Soul, but wow. Bartek with a huge variant style oh. clothesline, taking him down. One, two. <laughs> right at the last second. Uh, that was clearly a three count. I feel uh, the referee waving it off as a two. Uh -huh. I, I got to be honest, I think I heard that third slap as yeah. well, but perhaps the referee, you know, just calling it the momentum of his arm, but uh -huh. waving off the pin. This match right. still continues. Dynamite Soul will not be put down. Back to his feet, up and over Bartek. And a big, big stomp. Puts Bartek on the mat, and this could be Dynamite Soul's moment. He seems to be calling for the end here. Could this be the black note? Come on, kid, you gotta get up. Get up. Bartek slowly struggling to his feet. Dynamite Soul may be taking too much time here. Tommy G now up on yeah. the apron. What's going on? Right. Tommy and Eric. Why is Tommy G? And now Bartek with the spear takes Dynamite Soul down. <laughs> One, two, three, and there's the pin. Nice work, Tommy. Tommy G certainly has some explaining to do to these fully loaded wrestling fans and to Dynamite Soul, Eric Walker. He may be from Texas, but he made some quick friends up here. I'm gonna do some investigation, get some information on this fella here with Kiefer Bartek. Keep me updated, because he seems like a guy that fit real well into my stable. Talk later, Bartek.